Hello, my name is Ananda and today I will be talking about a popular question that we get and is how do I show engine information on the Level Aviation app? This is only for experimental, so basically if you have an iLevel 3AW or an iLevel Autopilot, um, we integrate information from Grand Rapids Engine Analyzer. To do that, if you if you have an, uh, a Grand Rapids EIS, it could be the EIS 2000 for the two-cylinder um, airplanes, the EIS 4000 or the EIS 6000. If you have any of those models, you can fit in the serial output into one of our auxiliary ports. We have three on this DB15 uh, connector. If you don't have any avionics connected already, I would recommend using auxiliary zero and using pin 10, which is the receive. Um, so you basically bring the transmit from Grand Rapids into the receive for the eye level and then you connect your grounds or if you have uh, a common ground then you can do it that way. Once the hardware is connected then we have to configure your auxiliary port to receive engine information and you do that on the app. So basically once you have the Level Aviation app downloaded you're going to go to device configuration. So go to menu, device config, it's going to ask you for a four, uh, four pin number which is essentially your serial number. You can find the serial number of your device on the label of, on the back or you can see it on the network name when you go to Wi-Fi and connect to your eye level. The SSID it says I level and then four numbers use that on the device configuration page and that gives you access to all the configuration so um, once you're under general configuration you're gonna see some options scroll down to the auxiliary port or the serial ports and if you connect the Grand Rapids to auxiliary zero then go into aux zero and select EIS or engine or GRT engine and then click apply once um, you're going to receive a configuration uh, uh, a message um, so click ok and verify that the configuration went through go to menu and then status select the status page and scroll down until you get to the serial ports you will see auxiliary zero and what configuration make sure it says you know engine analyzer or grt eis make sure it doesn't say default uh, basically if it didn't go through what what i recommend doing is go to wi-fi settings uh, on your ipad general like general settings wi-fi disable the wi-fi enable the Wi-Fi and reconnect to your eye level and then try configuring the aux port it should it should work so when that's done um, then all you need is to configure your gauges accordingly your GRT requires you to go into the the Grand Rapids uh, box and configure each gauge individually for your minimums and maximums so you have to do the same thing on our app so if you go to menu and then engine you're gonna see on the top right corner a little uh, wheel click on that and it will t take you to the configuration of each gauge so for example if you click on rpm uh, you'll see you can change the name of the label or uh, the label of the gauge you can enable disable the gauge if you don't have a rpm sensor you can disable that um, you can change the the minimums and the maximum so basically you have four sections the minimum is the minimum that your gauge can go to so for example zero rpm and then the maximum is the maximum for that gauge so you can you know if you, you can put 35 100 rpm and then the sections in the middle are for your warning so if you want if you want the app to warn you on the low side you can put 1000 rpm and whenever that gauge goes below 1000 uh, it will it will create a flashing behavior on the gauge so use that if you don't want any warnings then you can set the the boxes to the same value so for example for fuel gauge you don't want a warning when it's full so you can put 30 gallons on the maximum warning and 30 gallons on the maximum and then that eliminates any possible warnings on on either side um, and that's basically it once you configure all your gauges you go back to the to the engine uh, page 
and whatever you set up on your engine analyzer it will show on the ipad um, it will show color coded and big and expanded and it's a, a nicer way to visualize all your engine gauges um, versus on that little screen so that's one thing another question that we get is can i use another engine analyzer that's not grt and currently we only integrate with grand rapids and the reason is is that they sent all the all the serial information all the engine information in a uh, in an easy way for it, for us to display on the iPad. Other other engine analyzers require calibration of each if, of each gauge, and that's a little more difficult for for us to do. So unfortunately, only Grand Rapids is um, is available. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can email us at aviationsupport at level.com.